Hello, class. Welcome, Hello. teacher. How are you? Thank you. I'm good, thank you. And you? Good, I'm pretty good, yes. I'm okay. not too bad at all. <laughs> How have you been? Yeah, um, no. okay. a good day today? Uh, yes, it was a good day this yeah? day. Okay. Yeah. okay, good, I'm glad to hear that. Um, hello, Alejandra, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good to see you. It's good to see you. Can you hear me, Alejandra? Hello? Hola, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. It's good to see, it's good to hear, it's good to see you. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. Hello, um, Annie, how are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you, and you? Good, I'm pretty good, <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm, I'm happy to be here with you guys. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, um, eh, we're going to start um, with our our um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> I've forgotten. Um, the attendance. Okay. We're going to be starting with the attendance. Okay. Um, give me a moment. Que poquito sabemos ahorita. Será porque les dije que, que no faltara y se conectaran temprano. Porque vamos a presentar. Será eso. I hope not. Ok. Hello, Gerson. Hello, Gerson. Uh, okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. And hello, Christina. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment, guys. Give me one second. Okay. Um, hello, Christina. Can you can you hear me, Christina? Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. There she is. Okay. All right. Hoy sí ya. Hoy sí ya tengo a, a todas esas caritas. Solo Zuleima creo que sigue tenin, teniendo problemas ahí con su video, ¿verdad? Ah, okay, ahí estamos, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Hey, I'm glad to see, I'm glad to be able to see you guys. You guys, thank you for connecting on time. Okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna be taking attendance. Give me a moment, give me a moment. Um, Give me a second. Okay, found it. All right, so let's start with Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Ani. Present teacher. Very Pero Ani, Ani, no Cristina, Ani. <laughs> ah, sí, sí, tiene razón. Sí, es que eh, de, después de Alejandra sí, Ana Cristina, y después sigo yo, pero como dijo Ani, yo digo present. Ah, está bien, está bueno. Sí, no, no, es, no es malo. <laughs> ok. Um, Cristina. Cristina. No. 
Okay. All right. Um, Mari. Mari. Okay. Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Eh, and Cristina. Present. Okay, very good. Um, oh, Cristi sería mejor. Pa. <laughs> Siempre me confundo ahí. Okay. Um, Gerson. Present. Okay, welcome, Gerson. Karina. Present. Okay, very good. Welcome. Linda. Linda. No, no Linda. Okay, Julia. Julia. Present. Okay, very good. Welcome. And Marlene. Present. Okay, very good. Um, and Maida. Maida. No, Maida. Okay. Miguel. Miguel. No? Okay. Uh, Nelson. Nelson? No, Nelson. Okay. Uh, Norma. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Norma. Thank you. And Olga? Pre the present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Olga. Rafa? Thank you. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Rafa. Thank you, teacher. Tanaida? Tanaida? No, I say Naida, okay. And what about Suleima Rodriguez? Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Welcome. And Argelia? Argelia? No? Okay. Nancy? Nancy, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, and Karen. Present. Okay, very good. Welcome, Karen. Suleima Melgar. Suleima Melgar. No? Okay. Carla. Present. Okay, very good. But I'm just going to make sure that I haven't missed anybody. I didn't hear Cristina or Mari, Linda, Maida, Miguel, Nelson, Zenaida, Argelia, Nancy, Juan Carlos. Present ah, Present. Yeah, okay, very good. Um, Juan Carlos and Suleima Melgar. ¿Sí? Teacher, I'm here. Ah, Mari, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Estamos todos, ¿verdad? ¿Sí o no? Yes? Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, no, no, me, no se me escapa nadie, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, class. So in that case, um, we are going to um, we're going to start with the presentation. Well, no, actually, well, just give me a moment. Okay. Um, and han estado, antes que empecemos, han estado ustedes trabajando en la plataforma con el midterm? ¿Hemos estado trabajando con eso o no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. 
¿Cómo ah, vamos? Ah, yo tengo problemas en, en una tarea, pero no hemos llegado ahí. Yo me, yo me he adelantado. Okay. Yo tengo problemas en la tarea eh, la 4-5. Ok. Ok. Eh, en la única que tengo. Ok, ok. Pero el midterm, pero el final, perdón. El final exam no han encontrado ninguna eh, anormalía o en la unidad 3 de lo que hemos estado viendo hasta el momento. ¿No han encontrado nada así por el estilo? Um, pues yo el examen final lo he intentado hacer, pero solo una pregunta me falta que es referente a esa tarea del 4 o 5 que no me sale. Entonces, como no me sale, yo me imagino que al hacer la tarea ya voy a poder contestar esa pregunta, pero es lo único que tengo. Ya todo está. Ok, si quiere, puede mandarme eh, una captura de imagen y yo le voy a decir si es un problema de la plataforma que podemos arreglar con anticipación o si es porque simplemente necesitamos la explicación. Ok, teacher. Ok, y así, okay. Así, vamos, así de una sola vez también le ayudamos a los compañeros, ¿verdad? porque puede ser, pudiese darse el caso de que sea un problema en la plataforma y entonces si lo detectamos a tiempo, entonces ya lo reportamos y ya para cuando los demás compañeros lo hagan, entonces ya no les va a dar problemas a ellos. Ok. Ok, teacher. All right, um, thank you. Um, Ahí se lo mandé a, a su WhatsApp ah, okay. Person, personal. Ok, ya voy a ver porque ahorita no tengo el teléfono cerca, pero ya, okay, ya lo voy pero a sí te he enviado. Ahí. Ok, perfecto. ¿Alguien más que quiera reportar otra cosa que hayan visto que yo puedo, yo podría um, eh, reportar antes para que eh, no tengamos ese problema? Teacher, uh, en, en, el, en the midterm, en the first part, mm -hmm. uh, the number two and three, for me, no me da correcto. Lo pongo de mil maneras y siempre me da error. Okay, voy Porque a... esa... Ok, um, déjeme. Ok, ¿cuál, ¿cuál dijo usted? La parte 1 del MIPA, la número 2 y la número 3, es usando el TAT y el GAN. La número 1 y la número 3, dice. No, 2 y 3. La uno sí está bien, ya, ya la tengo buena, pero la dos y la tres no. Ok, una está bien, dos y tres están mal. Ok, déjeme uh -huh. ver a, a qué nos referimos. Da. Soy Apíncola. ¿Cuál era, Olga, para ayudarle? Ok, en la, okay entonces la parte dos, ajá, ¿en cuál de todos? ¿Cuál es el que, cuál de todos, el 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, cuál? En la 2, en la 3, en la parte 1, numeral 2 y 3. Ah, en la parte 1 entonces se está teniendo problemas. Solo esa parte de ahí toda la temática la hice. Pero la número okay. 2 y 3 de la parte 1 es la que no me sale. Ok, parte 1, número 2 ah. y 3. Ahí es. Exacto. Eh... Ok, pero no, no vamos a dar la respuesta, solamente Ajá. quiero ver si, si hay algún problema. Um, ok, entonces en la parte 1, número 2 y 3. Yes. Ok, no sé si están bien, eso es donde dice a substance such as mud or dust and appoint someone to a specific position, ¿Es, ¿a eso se refiere? Oh, no. 
o se lo enseño mejor. ¿Se, se lo enseño o no? Mejor. Eh, voy sí, a enseñar sí. Ok, solo un momentito. Esta cosa está lenta. Uf, ahora ya no me quiere responder. Hay que tener paciencia ahí con estas máquinas. Ok, ahorita se lo voy, lo voy a, a compartir para que usted me diga si esta es la que le está dando algún problema. Acabo de completar la dos. Ah, ok. Ahorita me la acepto. <risa> ah, wonderful. Ok. Ya se lo sería la tres. Ok. Entonces, ¿se refiere a esto? Ya. Eh, no, permítame. Oh, la completé, teacher. Ah. Le encontré el error. Ok. Thank Entonces, you so much. La verdad. Sorry. We're talking about these ones, right? Yes, yes. Ok, but you found, ok. Sí, porque estas son palabras que ya hemos hablado, ya hemos hablado de estas palabras. Pero entonces, por eso mm. es que no hay problema, les puedo ayudar con esta. Ok. Ok. So it's clear? Yeah? Yes, it's clear. So remember, mud is lodo. Dust is polvo. Ok. So a substance such as mud or dust, so it's similar to that, okay? Um, and we have a point, a point to a specific position. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so everything else is clear, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, bye. Nadie más que quiera, eh, que quiera um, eh, reportar algo que, que no esté bien? Me not the term. Okay. So everything is okay, right? Yeah. Teacher. Huh? Eh, una duda. ¿Hasta dónde tenemos que tener completado la, las tareas, las actividades? For next Monday, you have to have everything of unit, um, of unit three. Unit three. Okay. Uh, everything of unit three for Monday. Okay. Okay, thank you. But, pero se pueden ir adelantando con el, um, con el, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, con el final exam, ¿verdad? Para que no vayan a última hora corriendo, ¿verdad? Porque ya vieron, por ejemplo, en la parte número uno, ya son vocabulario que ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, sí, si bien fácilmente lo pueden hacer. Um, y ahí quiero ver con cuatro partes entonces ya pueden ir viendo eso ok All right. so it's ok no questions aquí estoy para ayudarles así que cuéntenme cuéntenme si hay algo que tal vez la número dos no, 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 tal vez si no les sabe la palabra no hay problema porque todavía no hemos visto eso pero la parte uno del final sí fácilmente lo pueden hacer Okay. All right. So we're going to start sharing right now. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Good. Okay. So lo esperemos que está bien. Está lento para reaccionar. Ay, no sé qué está pasando con esta cosa que no quiere. ¿Ustedes ven mi, mi, mi PowerPoint completo o a la mitad? Completo. O sea. Toda la pantalla. 
toda la pantalla? ¿O soy yo? ¿Ven, ven las los, los otras dispositivas o solamente una dispositiva? ¿Sí? Solo una, teacher. Eh, a la izquierda. Que venga a un ladito. A la izquierda. Solo está. una, la que inicia, donde dice día 18. A la izquierda están las demás, teacher. Ahí está. Ok, hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí ven pantalla completa. Yes. Okay. All right, good. So it's course English for work program, intermediate one, module one. Topic, how to use perfect models. It's day number 18. Your facilitator is Jessica Lisset Guerrero. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this part that we did yesterday, right? So you were working in Paris. You joined your, break, your assigned breakout room. You use the model above to create a basic schedule for five employees at your workplace. Share your schedule with the class. So we have this as the example, right? Okay. So you had to create something similar to this. Are we finished? Are you finished or no? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, so we're going to present. Solo que lastimosamente no tengo Ayer se me escapó a um, ver la, la, ¿cómo se llama? El, el, o sea, hacer una captura de imagen de todos los grupos. Entonces me van a tener que ayudar ustedes, ¿ok? Me van a tener que decir con quién estaban, porque lastimosamente se me escapó ese detallito. Ok, so, um, ok, so, eh, we're going to start with, um, bueno, todo así, random order, así como en el orden en que me aparecen, porque no, no tengo de otra forma. Um, o sea, lo voy a, no saben que lo vamos a hacer por orden. Quiero ver. Un momentito. Mm. Okay. Vale, vamos a hacer en orden alfabético. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to do in the order of the, the list of the, um, the attendance list. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with Alejandra. Alejandra, who were you working with yesterday? Repeat, repeat, teacher. Who were you working with yesterday? So, who was your partner? Partner. Uh huh. Who was your partner? Um. One moment. Huh? Oye. Ah, Alejandra no estuvo ayer, verdad? No, teacher. Estaba buscando qué significaba. Ah, okay, okay, never mind. Okay, then in that case, Cristina. Who were you working with, Cristina? Perdón. Gerson y Iván. Gerson y. No le oigo. Nelson creo que le dijo, teacher. Ah, Nelson. Pero Nelson creo que no está, ¿verdad? Nelson iba a estar. Ok, pero Gerson sí. Ah, no, sí. ¿Cómo está? Ahí está. ¿Nelson? Está lindo ese tatoncito. Ya está bañado. Es que me ayudó a la Okay, so we're going to be, uh, so you're going to be sharing. Um, so, um, uh, Cristina, Gerson, and Nelson, you're going to be sharing with us? Listos? Yo voy con Nancy. Ah, okay, entonces no, no era con Nelson, entonces la cosa. 
Entonces, Nelson ella... Iván le dijo, Nelson Iván le dijo, Cristi. Pero Nelson dice que no, era, que no estaba con ella. Sí, yo dije que estaba con ella. Ah, ¿de veras? Sí. Ah, sí. ok, perdón, perdón. Ah, pues me confundí. Ok, so Nelson and Cristina. Ok, we're ready. Ready when you are. Listo, chicos. Uh, chicos, ¿nos van a compartir? Creo que mi compañera tiene problemas, si no. Uh, sí, ok. Vaya, eh, Cristina está teniendo creo que problemas con su audio o con su intro. Los dos. Si quiere entonces, eh, Nelson, entonces nos da la información. Ok, permítame. Ok. Ah, ok. Cristina dice, ok, hold on. Vale, un momentito voy a... Ok, hoy sí, Cristina. ¿Le permite? Okay. No me escuchan. Eh, sí, le escuchamos ahorita un poquito cortado, pero pero dele, no hay problema. Porque si no te explica Iván. No, ahorita, ahorita creo que la escuchamos bien. No sé, ¿ustedes, los demás, pueden escucharla bien? O, o bueno, igual se creo que se van a repartir, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, como quieran, chicos. Ok, está. Uh, we have um, Otter and the Juan Perez is the general manager. He worked from Monday to Sunday, uh, the 9 a.m. Uh, to 4 p.m. And Sunday, he has a free day. And Rosa Escobar, she's the supervisor. And what is the new waiter work? And time for work is 8 a.m. To 12 p.m. Okay, great. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, that's it. 
sería Mary López, eh, White Trees, eh, Dimonte, eh, el discount, eh, el Tuesday, eh, AM, AM, uh, 2 p.m. En Wednesday, 8 p.m. En Thursday, 2 p.m. Eh, Church of the Chief, de 2 a uh, 8 p.m. Eh, Chase, Chase of the Chief, de 2 p.m. 8 p.m. and take off bed chip and 8 a.m. a uh, 12 p.m. Fernando en Monday. Él es Liz Whiter. Watch the bedroom de 8 a.m. a uh, 2 p.m. Wednesday de 2 p.m. a 8 p.m. Wednesday de 8 a.m. a 2 p.m. Eh, supplies y en Friday, supplies y en product de 8 a 2 p.m. En Saturday, supplies y en product de 8 a 2 p.m. y su en Sunday, supplies y en product de 8 a 2 p.m. Sigo, teacher. Okay. Um, are we finished? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Round of all. Excellent. Round of applause. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Let's continue by an order in alphabetical order would be Ani. Con Carolina me tocó teacher. Okay, Carolina and Ani then. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay. Uh, okay. Eh, um, Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Uh, how is, is based on the restaurant? Restaurant Gumi State. Um, employees, Fernando, eh, kitchen manager, eh, Maria Cachir, Camila, executive chef, Andre Server, uh, Pamela Bartender. Um, Fernando, uh, Fernando, eh, eh, kitchen manager, eh, hey, I am um, at, at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, one hour break um, of the, of one, One at 2, 2 p.m. Um, of the Monday, um, Friday. Um, day off, Wednesday, uh, Maria Cashier. Uh, Maria, uh, 9 a.m. 7 p.m. A one hour break of a 2 p.m. at 3 p.m. A Wednesday vacation. A Friday day off. Voy a continuar, Carol. Okay. Camila, educative chef, is. Mondays, uh, Mondays, the 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. 
uh, bread, 30 minions, the 30, to 30, 30, 30. Uh, Tuesdays, day, day off. Uh, Andres, server, uh, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, break, 30, 30 minutes. Uh, Tuesday on vacation. Tuesday's day off. And Pamela, bartender. Monday, uh, day off. Uh, Tuesday uh, to Friday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, break, 30 minutes, only teacher. Okay, very good, bravo, excellent. Okay, all right, it's and continuing with the order, Mari. Who were work? Who were you working with, Mari? Yes, teacher, uh, Julie. What, Julie? Okay. All right. Great. Mari and Julie. Then. Bueno, de yo las dos Maris. Mm -hmm. uh, Julie is here. Um, Julie, Julie, Julia. Go oh, teacher. Okay. Lo vas a leer tú, Ana. Yes. Um, give me a moment, please. Está proyectando el teacher. Yes, we can see it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Maria is receptionist, and her schedule is on Monday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. One hour for break. Break on Tuesday. Um, from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. and one hour for break. On Wednesday, from 8 a.m. to 12. And on Thursday, from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And Friday, from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, the, uh, the Julie's schedule is um, he she's manager on Monday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and one hour for break and Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Wednesday, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Thursday, from one from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And Friday, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, about Anna, she's bartender on, my, on Monday is her day off on Tuesday from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. and one hour for break. On Wednesday from 7 a.m. to 12 and Thursday 
from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. On Friday, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And one hour for break. And Oscar, he is a maintenance. Her, his schedule are on Monday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 30 minutes for break. On Tuesday from 1, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And Thursday and Friday is his vacation. And about Carlos, is he is a security. His schedule are from 6 p.m. to, to 6 a.m. and 30 minutes for break. On Tuesday, he is his day off. On Wednesday, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and 30 minutes for break. On Thursday is his day off. And Friday from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and 30 minutes for break. Finish. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, okay, next would be, well, Carolina already passed. Cristina. Cristina también pasó, ¿verdad? ¿O no? O Ana sea, Cristina, sí. Sí, perdón, cierto. Ok, Cristi, entonces. Cristi, who are you with? Hello, teacher. My parent is Zenaida. Voy a... Hello, good evening. Um, our schedule is from Bank Agency. Um, employee is manager, cashier, ordinary, security personnel, delivery courier. The manager schedule Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And from 9 a.m. at 6 p.m., one hour break. Saturday, um, I am at and I am to 12 p.m. The cashier, the um, 7 a.m. at 4 p.m. one hours the breaks, and th Thursday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 a.m. 12 p.m. Um, organize, and organize and 6 a.m. at 3 p.m. one hours break. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8 uh, 2 p.m. at uh, 12 p.m. in three people. Um, and Sunday, day off. Senaida. Uh, security schedule, uh, security personnel, uh, Monday. Uh, one moment, please. Okay, for a schedule security personnel, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 5 o'clock a.m. until 8 p.m. And Saturday, 
uh, 7 o'clock a.m. until 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, Sunday is day off. Delivery counter has the special 7 o'clock a.m. until um, 4 o'clock p.m. every week. And Saturday, 7 o'clock a.m. to uh, 12 o'clock. And Sunday, day off. Only teacher. Okay, very good, excellent, bravo. Okay, okay, then it's Herson. Who, who are you working with, Herson? Hi, teacher, yes, with Nancy. With Nancy, okay. Hello. Okay. Um, Hello. Hola. Okay. <laughs> this is good night, classmate. Uh, all Words schedule for an administrator office of five employees, and the company work from Monday to Friday from eight in the morning to four in the afternoon, and on Saturday from eighteen in the morning to twelve at noon. Okay, it is the schedule made up of five positions. Uh, the staff uh, is conformed with Monica. She is an accounting assistant. Uh, she is the person who supports the accountant. Amanda, who is the cashier. And Carlos is the general accountant of the company and the person in charge of keeping the account clear. Nancy is the analyst, she is charge of evil, ev, ev, <clears throat> sorry, she is she in charge of evaluating the clients and Herson with the system engineer and in the charge of the compound system. Apart from the meeting this case, everyone has a 25 minutes lunch brain teacher in the day of the Sunday. Okay, you're finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, okay, um, just give me a moment. Just give me one second. Okay, uh, let's continue with Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, who were you working with yesterday? I am sorry, teacher, uh, no me conecté ayer. Ah, okay. okay. Um, mm, okay. Um, Karen? My partner is Norma. Okay. All right. Go for it then. Okay. A schedule for March. For March. Uh, Carlos is manager. And Monday, 8 a.m. Um, 6 p.m. One hour lunch. Tuesday, day off. Wednesday, 
8 a.m., 6 p.m., one hour lunch. Tuesday, 8 a.m., 6 p.m., one hour lunch. Friday, 8 a.m., 6 p.m., one hour lunch. Next, uh, Carolina um, is hostess. Monday, it's um, 1 p.m., 6 p.m., 30 minute break. Tuesday, start 8 a.m. and on 30 minute break. Wednesday, day off. Thursday, start 1 p.m., 6 p.m., 30 minutes break. Friday, 8 a.m., and on. 30 minutes break. Um, Margaret, is Kasia. Kasia Wang, star 9 a.m., 1 p.m., 30 minutes break. Tuesday, 9 a.m., 6 p.m., 1 hour lunch. Wednesdays, 9, 9 a.m., 1 p.m., 30 minute break. Tuesday, day off. Friday, 1 p.m., 6 p.m., 30 minutes break. Norma? Okay. In cashier uh, number two, Monday, uh, 1 p.m. I start at 1 p.m., uh, finish 6 p.m., uh, 30 minutes of break, and um, Tuesday, day off, Wednesday, um, start 1 p.m., and finish 6 p.m., 30 minutes of break, and Thursday, uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and 2 p.m. at 6 p.m., one hour of lunch and Friday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., 30 minutes of break. And the last one is Francisco, is a chef. Um, Monday, <clears throat> the 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., one hour of lunch and Thursday, 8 a.m. to um, finish the 6 p.m. one hour lunch and Wednesday uh, start 8 a.m. at 6 p.m. one hour of lunch and Thursday uh, start 8 a.m. and finish 6 p.m. one hour of lunch and Friday day off. Finish teacher. <clears throat> Okay, very good. Round of applause. Excellent. Okay, sigamos. Um, quiero ver. Sí, um, Karen? Karen empezó, ¿verdad? No. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Karina, entonces. Okay, I work with Silvia. Uh, ah, okay. Silvia. Silvia Suleima, I guess. Ah, Suleima. Ajá, okay. Suleima, oh. podemos, pero sí podemos um, hacer la presentación aún. A un... Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. Okay, uh, our schedule is about a uh, supermarket. Um, we have six employees. The first is Juan. He's the cashier and he works uh, from a.m. to 
5 p.m. He has 45 minutes to of break and his day off is on Tuesday. And work Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only in the morning uh, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And he has 15 minutes of break. Then is Maria, she is the accountant, and she worked Monday to Friday uh, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And, and she has their, their 30 minutes of break and her day off is on Saturday, then is Luis. He is the manager and he worked Monday to Thursday uh, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And he has 40 minutes of break and Friday is his day off. Um, Monica is cashier. Uh, she worked Monday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 20 minute break. From Thursday to Friday, she worked to, from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, 20 minute break and Saturday day off. Pedro is Pedro. He's is bakery manager. He work the he work from Monday to Friday from uh, six a.m. to eight a.m. Friday and um, Saturday day off and. He he is not he has not break. And Jose? He doesn't have a break. He, uh, Jose he, he is this player. And he worked to from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and one hour's break. Finish. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. Bye. Um, okay, Carla. I worked with Linda. With Linda, perfect. Okay, we are yeah. ready to listen to you. Okay. okay. I, you, you, me? Or you? <laughs> I thought you can be first. Okay. You can say the, the third, uh, three, three of them. Yes, okay. uh, well, we have six employees. They work in a supermarket. Uh, first, uh, we have uh, John. He is a market manager. He works from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. He has a 30 minutes break and he works from Monday, from Monday to Sunday, except the on, on Wednesday uh, is her is his day off. Uh, then we have Amy. She is cashier number one. Uh, her day off is on Tuesday. Uh, he works from 9 a.m. to 12 to 12 a.m. o'clock. And he works from Monday to Sunday too. And third uh, is Mary. She is in the cashier number two. 
uh, he works uh, from 12 o'clock to 7 p.m. In her break, he, her break is uh, for 20 minutes. In his day, her day off is on Thursday. He works from Monday to, to Sunday. Okay, the next one is Luis. Uh, he is a supervisor. Uh, he works from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And he has a 30 minutes break. He works from Monday to Sunday, except Friday, that is his day off. And then we have Kimberly uh, Maintenance. She's a maintenance. Uh, she starts work at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And she has a one break hour. Uh, her day off is Monday. So she works from Tuesday to Sunday. And then we have Charles that he is a security. Uh, she starts, uh, he start works from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And he has one hour break. Uh, her his day off is on Tuesday. That's all. Okay, very good. Round of applause. Excellent. Okay. Um, all right. Quiero ver. Next is Julia. Pero Julia ya pasó. Marlene. Marlene hasn't passed, right? Marlene, is that Marlene? Yes, teacher. I está, okay. Marlene, did you already pass? Yes, we Rafa. Ah, okay, 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 good. Um, Mayra? Yes, teacher, I write in the chat. Uh-huh. Um, Um, mm -hmm. Okay, bah, I understand. Um, get over. Miguel, is Miguel here? Miguel, Miguel, who was with Miguel? Who was working with Miguel? Me, teacher. Okay, okay, wonderful. Can you do the presentation, just you? Is that okay? Yes. Okay, all right. Yes. We are ready then. Okay, okay. I'll try to uh, share my, my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Okay. Okay. A schedule for employees of the Ecology Unit Salvadorian. From Monday to Friday, enter at the office 8 a.m. Uh, we have one hour for lunch at 12 middle day to 1 p.m. Uh, um, all employees have li um, leave the office at 5 p.m. Saturday when needed. Uh, we, we have some exceptions. Miguel, no sé si va a seguir leyendo. No. Continue yo. Okay. Nidia is in charge of administrative office. Sorry, sorry, I um I forgot to tell you, Miguel is apparently is not here. 
right? Oh. Menos que, que sea, no. Ah, no, sí, como no. Ya lo vi. Miguel. Oh, pero yo... Miguel. Creo que se acaba de conectar. Miguel, are you there? Miguel. Miguel, no está. Miguel, no está, no está en la clase. No. Okay, well, I'm sorry. You're, you're going to have to do it. Then you're going to have to continue. Sorry about that. Okay, no problem. We have some exceptions. Nidia is in charge of administrative office. She comes into the office early and some days she leaves the office about two hours later when she has a lot of work to do. The technic technicians, they make, they make your schedule because they work the office. The driver, Hector, he work overtime when they encounter heavy traffic and has a hard time getting back to the office. The administrative personnel, they have going to work when have a lot of work. It doesn't matter if it's on the weekend. That's all. Okay, very good. Round of applause, excellent. Okay, next would be, okay, Rafa ya pasó, Senaida ya pasó. No, no, yo no. No, it's pasó. Todavía no. I am ready. Rafa no, I am waiting. waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting oh, my turn. Okay, I like that, that's that's the, the, the attitude. Okay, perdón Rafa, no sé por qué, pensé que había pasado. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Uh, who, company. Sorry, who are you working with, Rafa? Marlene. Marlene, oh. my partner. Okay, go for it, Marlene. Are you ready, Marlene? Marlene? Hello, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I start. In my, yes, in my I company. I started. Me. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Ahead, okay, okay, and my company, uh, Marlene is auxiliary manager, and I work uh, from Monday to Thursday, work from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Friday is uh, my day off, then Saturday, work from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Karina is auxiliar manager from work from Monday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday uh, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Wednesday is her day off and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday works from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Saturdays work from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Sunday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And the next is Lucia, she is a receptionist. She works from Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we can our day up and only that. All right, very good. Bravo. Okay, Rafa, continue. Oh, okay, yes, thank you, Marlene. <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> Peter's schedule. Man from Monday to Friday. 
from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. 15 minute break from Monday to Friday. Saturday, 10 minute break. And schedule journey, purchasing manager from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday to Friday. Saturday from 8 a.m to 12 p.m. Sunday, day off. And Ruben Perez, a security boss. From 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. From Monday to Friday. Saturday, day off. And 10 minute break to Monday to, from Monday to Friday. Saturday, day off, only that teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. Very good, okay, all right. Okay, now we have, um, okay, Zenaida has passed. Suleima Rodriguez. Ya pasó, verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Argelia. Teacher, yesterday I didn't complete the class, but right now I I do the schedule for four of the employee from my company. So oh, can I share? Of course, yes. Okay. okay. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Okay. Um Gabriela, team captain or supervisor. Um she works Monday to Friday and to and she start at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. 15 minute break and one hour for lunch. Mm -hmm. And weekends are the day are he, her day off. Um, Nelson, agent number one. Um, his chief is star at one um what he, his chief start at 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. and 15 minute break and one hour for lunch. He works to um, to Friday to from Friday to Saturday and the Sunday and Monday are his day off. Melissa, agent number two, um, she works from Monday to Friday. Uh, her chief start at 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and with 15 minute break and one hour for lunch and weekends off. And in my schedule, um, I work to from Monday to Friday and to my in my chief start at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and sometimes I do overtime and I have a break and I have break 15 minute break and one hour for lunch. That's all. Okay, very good, excellent, very good job. Okay, thank you, Angelia. Uh, okay, all right, I think that's it, right? Is that everybody? Si, sí, no, se me escapó alguien? No? Sí, todos. todos. Yes or no? Todos están, ya? Yeah? No se me escapó nadie, ¿verdad? No, no quieren decir. <laughs> yes? Todos está bien? Ok, bueno. Ok. Um, all right, in that case, um, okay, just give me a moment. Um, okay, all right, so in that case, we're going to be checking the attendance now then, okay? 
And so let me um, take, a, take attendance right now. We have Alejandra. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Annie. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Mari. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Cristina. Oh, Cristina. Present. Present. Thank you. Uh, Herson. Present. Okay, thank you. Karina. Present. All right, wonderful. Linda. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Mm, Julia. Present. Okay, good. Marlene. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Maida. Present teacher. Excellent. Miguel. Miguel. Me mando un chat, teacher. Ay, no, perdón, chico, de que no, ando, no tengo el teléfono acá. Uh, ok, ya lo voy a ver. Thank you. Um, ok. Ah, ya me mandó. Ajá, ya, ya. Pensé que al, al celular. Al WhatsApp. Yeah, he's probably having internet problems. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Nelson? Present. Okay, wonderful. Norma? Present, teacher. Good. Thank you. Uh, Olga? Present, teacher. Great. Rafa? Present teacher. Excellent. Sanaida. Present teacher. Great. Sylvia. Uh, sorry, uh, Suleima. Present Uri. teacher. Okay. Present. Uh, Argelia. Present teacher. Excellent. Nancy. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Excellent. Karen. Karen. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. All right, and Carla. Present. All right, excellent. Hey, we have full house. Bravo, guys. Very, very good. Okay. All right, so um, we are going to continue with the rest of our class. Um, so give me a moment. Okay, please tell me if you can see my, my PowerPoint presentation. Hold on, give me a moment. Okay, let's see. Okay, can you see my PowerPoint presentation? Oh, wait a second. Stop. I'm going to stop for a moment. Antes que continuemos con esto. Okay. Um, I noticed I was, I was listening in this presentation that you just read right now. I was listening for two things. One, your practice of the language, right? The vocabulary that you were using. But second, the second thing I was looking for is also your pronunciation. Okay, so I was also listening to see how um, you're pronouncing words and you did very good with the pronunciation. So bravo to everybody, excellent job. Um, I think you are speaking quite well. You are pronouncing words very, very well. There were just very few words that I noticed were not pronounced correctly, but very, very few. So it's um, in general, you guys are doing an excellent job. So I'm just going to correct um, a few words. Um, 
some words that I heard uh, in in all of this time. Give me a moment. Give me a second, guys. That's my my computer is very slow right now. Okay, the first word is a second. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so this is the first word. How do you pronounce this word? Oh no, hold on. Yeah. How do you pronounce this word? Anybody? I don't understand your question, TJ. I don't, oh, I can't see the word. Si tienen razón, la mandé directo a alguien. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write in it para que todos, perdón chicos, se me fue el, el chat para directo a una persona. Lo voy a hacer ahora con, para todos. Okay. Now you can see it. How do you say that word? Maintenance. 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 Okay. Maintenance. Okay. So we have different, uh, different pronunciations if you hear, right? Not everybody is pronouncing it the same way. So um, I'm going to teach you two ways to pronounce it, okay? You can say, there are two ways. You can say, you can be correct and like um, like correct English and you can pronounce it maintenance, 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 okay? So maintenance. 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 Exactly. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Maintenance. No. Maintenance. 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 Okay. So that's one way of pronouncing it. The other way is a shorter version. Like, um, it's like, um, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you an example. You know, when, when, in, in, um, in Spanish speakers, sometimes instead of saying um, para, they say pa, right? Mm -hmm. Voy para allá, <laughs> right? Instead of saying voy para allá, they say voy para allá, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so mm -hmm. that same idea happens with this word. Sometimes we can shorten the word and instead of saying maintenance, we say maintenance. 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 Mm -hmm. Maintenance. Yes, that is another way to say it, and it's also acceptable. Okay. Maintenance. Maintenance. Notice. Maintenance. 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 Yes. Maintenance. O sea, este sonido va como para adentro. 
maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. So the two forms are acceptable. Maintenance. Okay. Or maintenance. You will hear the two sounds. The two pronunciations. Okay. Maintenance is more um, very, very native speaker. Okay. Very native speaker. And um, it, it's, it's kind of like, it's similar to words, words that finish in that nense, like for example, uh, or like certain, okay, like we can say certain, okay, instead of saying certain, we can say certain, or we can say certain, the two forms are acceptable, okay, certain, or certain, certain, the same way, yeah, certain, Certain. The same thing with this word. We can say mountain, mountain, or we can say mountain. 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 Okay. So mountain. Okay. So we don't we don't pronounce the whole ending. We just say mountain. And that n it's it's a sound that goes like inwards, para adentro. Mm. Okay. All right. So just to let you know that those two forms are acceptable. Okay. Okay. Lo que les sea más fácil para ustedes. O sea, el, el que con el que se sientan más cómodos. Okay. Y si les, y si, y si les parece más cómodo uno, pues que bien. Se les parece los dos, utilicen los dos, pero por lo menos ya saben que, que existen esos dos sonidos y que si lo escuchan, ya saben a qué se refieren. ¿Ok? ¿Sounds good? Yes. Ok. Yes, And I heard another word. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we have the correct, the correct pronunciation as well, uh, which is this word here. It's Friday. Not free day, but Friday. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. And um, this is a little more of like, um, this is more, not grammar, but yeah, a little bit of grammar, I guess. Um, okay, when we are talking about um, a specific time of the day, you can say, uh, we can say, Let's say, for example, this one. How would you say this, mm. this time? Twelve p.m. Okay, good. Okay, twelve p.m. Okay, but mm. we cannot say twelve o'clock p.m. Okay, we could say now. The other possibility is just simply saying. 12 o'clock. Give me a second. Se me trabado. Okay. So 12 o'clock. Perdón, chicos, que se me está trabando esta cosa. Okay, so we could say either 12 p.m. or 12 o'clock, but we cannot say 12 o'clock p.m. And mi menos 12 p.m. o'clock. Okay? So we just say 12 p.m. or 12 or 12 o'clock. One or the other one, but not both. Okay? Sounds good. Okay. Okay. And one more thing. Um, 
This actually has to do with more like um, uh, how we use it in context. Um, when do we say good night? In what moment of the day do we say good night? Para ir a dormir. Para ir a dormir. When I go to the rest. When yeah. I go to the bed. Yeah, exactly. So good night is when you're saying bye to somebody. So at the beginning of this class, at eight o'clock, you will not say good night, teacher. No, because si no me está mandando a dormir. <laughs> Y quizás sí tengan ganas de irse a dormir, pero pero no, o sea, no 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 sería lo ideal, no sería lo correcto. So, you what you say when you want to say hi to someone at night time, you say good evening. Okay. Good evening. Okay. Not good night. We can say good night at 10 o'clock. Okay, when we finish mm -hmm. class, we say 10 o'clock. Okay, good night, teacher. Ahí se me pueden mandar a dormir. Okay? <laughs> Got it? Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Any questions? Okay. Teacher, right. teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. 12 del mediodía también se puede 12 noon. Mm. Okay, yes, yes, very good. Um, you another possibility, we can say um, 12 noon. Yes, 12 noon, it's okay. But we couldn't say 12 noon o'clock, as I say no, right? Okay. okay or 12 o'clock noon, no. Hmm. 12 noon, thank you. 12 o'clock, es que o'clock significa en punto. Mm -hmm. Right, entonces, eh, 12 o'clock en punto. Simplemente doce en punto. And, and you understand, when you say 12 o'clock, you understand if it's in the morning or, or sorry, if it's in the, um, it's at nighttime or during the day. You understand that, right? Because of the context, what we're talking about. Okay? Yeah? So if I say, for example, a new day begins at 12 o'clock. Ustedes ya saben el contexto, ¿verdad? Ustedes saben que no les estoy hablando de las 12 de mediodía. A new day begins at 12 o'clock. You know that it's, it's at night, 12 o'clock at night. Yeah? You could say 12 o'clock at night, but you cannot say 12 o'clock p.m. or 12 o'clock a.m. Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. Great. Can we continue? Teacher, the other way. Yes. The other way, the my night, midnight, oh, the midnight. midnight yes. my night. Yes, that's 12 a.m., right? Midnight is 12 a.m., so 12 midnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's possible too. Okay, thank you. Solo que no me combinen esas cosas. Es lo único. Okay. The only, okay. what you could say is 12 o'clock at night. That's okay. Or 12 o'clock in the morning. Or sorry, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Eso sí. But p.m., a.m., o'clock, noon, midnight, es, todas esas palabras no las combinen. Okay? Got it? Okay, teacher. Okay. I got it. Uh, wonderful. Okay. So let's continue. Um, all right. Now we, so we have here, we have the um, practicing the conversation. We have two questions. First question, how difficult is it to organize staff schedules? What do you think in general? Is it difficult to organize staff schedules or ah, easy? What do you think? Very easy, very easy, not complicated. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you agree with Rafa? Yes, 
when don't have different schedule mm -hmm. is simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if everybody has the same schedule, easy. But what happens if, for example, um, you know, Karen um, and Suleima and uh, Rafa and Olga are in, in, a, in the same company, but have different schedules. If, um, for example, Karen uh, can only work in the morning, Suleima can only work in the afternoon, Rafa can work in the morning and the afternoon, and all and um, and Olga is, you know, she she um, she has classes at the university, and there are days where she can work one day uh, in the morning and another day in the afternoon. What happens then? Is it difficult to organize a self schedule? Teacher, uh, it's a nerd habit, but it is dif difficult when the, uh, uh, the um, it's are rotating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's another problem, right? Rotating schedules. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this week you work in the morning, next week you work in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good. Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Would you use a computer? Of course, they help to facilitate yeah. the, cre the creation of the schedule. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, would you always would you only use a computer, or do you think it's important to check? Both. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Okay, good. Now let's take turns practicing the modal, sorry, the model conversation. Like we have always done in the past, please everybody mute your microphones. I'm going to say the conversation you practice at your in your home. Um, and just do the, the conversation with the microphone off so we do not distract everybody. Okay, here we go. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff, is always complaining I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most effective way. I bet it saves a lot of time. However, in reality, we say a lot of, a lot of. Okay, so I bet it saves a lot of time. So we normally don't say a lot of, we say a lot of, a lot of. Yes. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. All right, guys. 
So now, like you guys know the routine, right? You give me in the chat words that you're not sure about the pronunciation. You can write in the chat. Hmm, <laughs> everybody has the same idea. Okay. Mm hmm. Any more? That it? Um, you, Karen, you want the whole pronunciation of that? Or just one word? Monday. Karen, you, you wrote, I bet it saves, right? So you want the pronunciation yeah. of everything or just one word? Uh, um, all. Todo te chao. Everything. Okay. All right. Anything else? Okay. Here we go. Okay. So, okay. so we have the first word is complaining. Now I need you guys to open up your microphone. I want to make sure everybody understands it. Complaining. 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 Good. All right. I heard three people. There are more people. So everybody, come on. Complaining. 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 Good. There. 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 Um, yeah. There. I'm going to I'm going to write in the chat the way it there. sounds. The way it sounds. Okay. There. Oh, okay. okay. It yeah. sounds like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Phone. 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 Remember in English, the P and the H together Fun. make the sound. Uh, right? Phone. Fun. Yeah. Phone. 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 Efficient. 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 Good. Efficient. I bet it saves. I bet it saves. I bet it saves. I bet it saves. I bet I bet I bet it saves. I bet it. 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 Organized. 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 Good. Organized. Organized. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Organized. Organized. Orga. Organized. Organized. Organize. Uh, organize. Okay. Uh -huh. 
organized. Organized. Okay, good. Now let's talk about the words that you don't understand. Tell me which words are you not clear about? The meaning, not the pronunciation, but the meaning of the word. You can also write in the chat. No, no words. Okay. Wow. I'm impressed. You understand all the words. Bravo. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, in that case, we're going to continue with the next part, which is this. First, you're going to practice a conversation with your partner. Okay, you're going to, one of you is going to be Gilbert, the other one's going to be Laura. Okay, when you're finished, if you were Gilbert, and then you're going to be Laura. And if you were Laura, you're going to be Gilbert. And then answer these two questions. Or better so not answer, but complete the sentences. Okay? All right. Okay, teacher. I'm going to put you into breakout rooms to practice. Ok, bye chicos, nuevamente les voy a pedir a todos que me enciendan camaritas, quiero saber que realmente están allí, que no, no voy a mandar ahí a un compañero con un compañero fantasma. Porque después me dicen, teacher, no responde. No sabemos si les, si les pasó algo. Así que, enciéndame mis camaritas para saber que sí están allí, que que estamos que estamos ahí hablando con un compañero Zenaida Nelson Mayra Mari I'm here teacher okay I'm here teacher okay very good, ahí está, ok, muy bien, ok, perfecto, entonces estamos acá todos, muy bien, excelente, entonces voy a mandar, y, uh, ok, ya sé que entonces todos tienen ahí su pareja con quien pueden practicar, thank you guys, um, give me a moment, uh, Okay, all right, I'm gonna give you six minutes. Yeah, about six minutes to, to about seven minutes. No, six minutes, six minutes is okay. All right, so let's open up the rooms. Olga, do you have any problems?
Hola. Hola, Cristina. I am, I answer the question. Espérenme que se me cerró el... ¿Qué página era la del manual? 27. Twenty seven. Yes. How does your company organize organize sketch roles? Yes. Yes. How do you can sketch your own? Uh, the, the answer is use an online service. Como? Use an online say online service. But it's in the conversation, no? The answer is about the conversation, no? Yes, but the first thing, girls, is practice the conversation. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing, okay? Okay. Start, Stephanie. Creo que tiene apagado su micrófono. Okay, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use um online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That's so like the most efficient way I very save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and one in on time. Okay, you start? Yes. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff my staff is always complaining. I use online service so that the staff can say their schedule for their phone. That's unlike the most efficient way. I beat it says a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized of time and of time. Of time. Okay. Number three, how does your company organize, organize schedule? And in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid exploitation and understand our work? Could you, could you repeat, please? The first one is how, how does your company organize schedule? Okay. The second, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to no, avoid? No, that's not what we're doing, guys. Oh, okay, okay. We are doing this one. All of the yellow line. We're, we're doing the, we we'll answer the questions. Look over here. Number four. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. We're finishing. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. 
Seguimos practicando. Está bien. Okay. Ya completado. You already finished the completing? Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Laura, okay. how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is, is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and time. Okay. One more time. And Gilbert. Okay. If Laura. You, you first. Yes. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organ organized? My staff, staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of checking or our staffing and on their on their staff. In your opinion, what is most efficient way to employ? It's a It's, it's uh -huh. is, okay. what is the form? Why, why it's, in your opinion, what is most Efficient way to avoid overstuffing and understuffing. Is is my opinion, and uh, a diario, weekly or oh, weekly. Question, pero no sé cómo se dice como. In the in the number one weekly, huh? no weekend weekend weekly. Schedule are organized. Okay, all right, guys. Um, so we're going to check the answers quickly. Um, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Give me a moment. Okay, can you see? See my PowerPoint. I'm cheating. No, check. Okay, yes. You can see it? Yes. Now you can see it. Okay, good. Um, hold on. I don't know why it's not. Está reaccionando. Oh my goodness, my computer is going crazy on me. 
He's tired. <laughs> yeah. I know. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, so look at the conversation and answer the questions. Um, that sounds like. By it. So, abran los micrófonos y denme la respuesta para que. Vamos a hacerlo rápido. So, that sounds like. The most efficient. Perdón, se escucha cortado. The most efficient way. No me escuchan bien? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Good. Yes, Ahorita sí. Okay. So, the, that sounds like the most efficient way. Very good. And it is the best way. The best way. Way to way keep to your stuff organized. The best way to keep the best stuff way to keep very good. Okay. All right. Organize. Excellent. Tomorrow we're going to be learning about the structure here. That's called actually the super. We we call this the superlative. Is when we're talking about the most of something. Okay. So um, I'm going to stop right now and sharing, and we're going to be checking um, attendance quickly. Um, okay, eh, vamos a hacerlo rápido, um, como siempre les pido, por favor abran su micrófono cuando ya sepan que, que les toca para que rapidito digan um, present, represente y así podamos rápido um, tomar la asistencia. Okay, so we're going to start with Alejandra. Present teacher. Good. Cristina. Good. And Annie? Present teacher. Mari? Present. Carolina? Present. Uh, Christy? Present. Gerson? Present. Marina? Present. Linda? Present teacher. Um, Julia? Present. Marlene? Marlene, Mayra, present teacher, eh, Miguel, present, Nelson, present, Norma, present teacher, Olga, present teacher, eh, Rafa, present teacher, eh, Senaida, present teacher. Eh, Silvia. Present teacher. De, eh, Argelia. Present teacher. Nancy. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Karen. Karen. Present teacher. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Y Carla. Present. Ok, very good. Bueno, entonces, chicos, me quedo solamente con um, Zuleima eh, Rodríguez. Ok. Y estamos, eso sería todo. Ok, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Tomorrow. Good night, good night. teacher. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. Teacher, hasta mañana me tocó. Ahora le tocaba a Zenaida. Uf, ya me, me acabo de poner. Ah, sí, tiene razón. Ok, pero ¿se puede quedar hoy o...? Oh, o... la verdad no, te estoy ah, algo incómodo con un dolor de cabeza. Ok, sí, no hay problema, entonces. Ay, disculpe que me, me confundí. Ok, no, no, no problema. No hay problema, No problem. Ok, good night. Oh, good night, see you tomorrow. Ah, ¿sabe qué? Hagamos una cosa entonces. Sí. Bueno, mañana sí se puede quedar. Sí. Sí, ok, va, perfecto. Entonces no, no vemos mañana. Ok. Ok. All right. Good See night. you. Bye bye.
Hola, Zenaida. ¿Me escucha? ¿Aló? ¿Zenaida me escucha? Yes, teacher. Oh. I'm sorry because that today is my personal session. Sí. sí I, perdón, perdón. I, I got confused. I got confused. Sí. Pero, pero qué bueno, qué bueno que regresó. Qué bueno, excelente. Ok, ok. Bye, Zenaida. Cuénteme, ¿qué, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar hoy? Teacher, I have a... One moment. Uh -huh. I need okay. my support. Ok. Um, <laughs> me parece, me parece. Um, challenge, challenge me. Challenge me. I need challenge me because uh, uh, I have six months learning English and I don't pay attention all day. But it's... Uh, very important for me. For example, today I attend. Uh, I attend. It depends on. I attendance uh, Canadian people. Uh, oh, you helped. You helped Canadian people. Yes, I help at Canadian people. I understand very, very clear because he talked very slow. Lento, slow and um, he questioned me, do you speak in English? And I, but then los nervios. <laughs> los qué? Uh, me pongo nerviosa. Ah, I get nervous. Yes, I get nervous. I get nervous. I, I get nervous and I have a mistake. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> when the other people is, uh, is see, see me, ¿Cómo se dice cuando la gente me mira? Yeah, see me. When the people see me, I get very nervous. Oh, when people look at you. Ah, okay. When the people look at me, uh, I very nervous. Mm -hmm. I understand. But I need uh, lost the fear. Nerves. Fear. 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 Mm -hmm. Fear. Right. Okay. Okay. I understand. I understand, um, Zenaida. That, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, the first thing I can tell you is you can do it. You have to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, other people will believe in you. But, but first you have to be believing yourself, okay? okay? You have been studying English, you're right. You know, almost like seven months now, seven months that you've been studying English, okay? It's not, it, it's not it, it sounds like, oh, seven months, but no, seven months is seven months. It's more than half a year, okay? Yes. And so you can do it. Now, you may not understand 100%, but you can do it. That's the important thing. You can do it. Okay? Okay. Um, yeah. So that's the first thing you got to, you got to, you got to make sure that you believe in yourself. Okay? Now, um, the other thing is, don't, don't think that because a person knows the language, that they are going to laugh at you because you do not pronounce things right, okay? I'm, I'm not being biased. Well, maybe a little bit, but um, you understand bias? No. Okay, uh, I'll write it down. Uh, 
bias. bias. The word bias means um, like uh, showing a preference or prejudging something like um, to give you an example, to give you an example. Imagine somebody in the street asked me, so Jessica, what do you think, where should I learn English? What do you think I'm going to say? Right? I'm going to say, learn English at Inglés Corporativo. Why? Because I work for Inglés Corporativo. Right? Mm. So I am biased. I am think like my, my preference is influenced mm. because of my, of what I think, what I do. That is a bias like a preference for something, okay? So they said, I have a li I, it's not because I want to be biased, but maybe I am a little bit. Um, for example, many people from different countries like Canada are very nice people. Canadians, we are known to be very, um, a very, very nice people. Yes. <laughs> right? Very, very sweet people. Uh -huh. So uh, usually a Canadian will not be saying anything bad to you that you pronounce something wrong or that maybe they will tell you they will help you, but not to not to criticize you. OK, okay. Right? So that's something that you can feel like rest assured. OK. Um, so that's one thing. Um, and the other thing is, don't be so hard on yourself. You are still learning. So you're going to make mistakes. And that is okay. It's okay, okay. to make mistakes. Okay? No problem. You don't have to speak perfectly. It's okay. And if you make a mistake, you just learn from your mistake. You say, oh yeah, I need to, I need to say it like this. Okay, that's it. Like we say in Spanish, no pasa nada. Okay, you made a mistake, okay. it's okay. It's okay, don't worry about it, okay? I'm saying this because most of the time, the problems are not language, but psychological. Sometimes we have more of a psychological barrier than the actual language barrier. Sometimes we know the language, but sometimes we're thinking, oh my goodness, I don't want to make a mistake. And we don't <laughs> and we don't go and, and, and jump into the water and try to swim. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So now now what can you do to get more exposure? Do you have family or friends that speak English? Yes, I have a three, four, um, co work, co workers, and co workers, and I have a cousin in the USA, but she has a very, very busy, and uh, but I little practice with my co work. Wonderful. She has a, how do you say, corregir? Correct. Uh, she has a correct when I mistake in the sentence with a speak uh, her and I. Good. But <laughs> I, I like uh, practice. Um, for example, <laughs> Uh, maybe a joker in English, and uh, but I need uh, lost the uh, fire. Okay, okay, the fear, the fear, uh, the fear. Okay, mm. <laughs> the fear. Okay, okay good. Uh, yes, absolutely. You do need to lose the fear. Yeah. Okay, and the best way to lose the fear is to forget 
that you are that someone is going to be correcting you. Okay, if you if you feel that someone is going to correct you, you're going to be going, you know, in your, okay. so the best thing is just let it go. Okay, you're talking I, to I think very more in the mistake. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Most of the problems are not when you're speaking and you don't know how to speak. Most of the problems are not language barriers. They're psychological barriers. Okay, so you're like oh, afraid and, and so that you say, oh, no, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to jump into the water. I don't want to uh, run the risk. Okay, but when you forget about that and you say, ah, you know, if I make a mistake, whatever. You know, you, you have more success. Okay. I need so, more relaxed for the, uh, I'm, I don't see any more the mistake. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Don't think of the mistake. Just think about the work. And if it comes out wrong, okay. You can, you can correct it. And if it comes out good, great. Nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's not the end of the world if you make a mistake. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. So just relax. Just relax yourself and just let it go. Teacher, the your idea, idea, your idea for a speak only English in the breaker room is very, very good because uh, I feel um, I practice more my little English with my classmates. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. The idea is that you should try to become bilingual, right? That's the idea. So in order for us to become bilingual, we have to think first in English, okay? We cannot become bilingual if we are thinking in Spanish. It doesn't work that way, okay? So think in English, okay? Okay. And so that one of the things I, I can, you know what I, I, I suggest you do? Okay, I'm gonna give you a little tip that can help you. Okay. In, in your everyday life, when you are walking in the street, you are thinking different things, right? You say, oh, you see a, a dog pass by. And you say, oh, that's a cute dog. Oh, wow, that's a big dog. Oh, my goodness, I'm scared of the dog. Right? <laughs> right? Or you see, uh, or you see um, I don't know, a car but go by. And you say, wow, that's a beautiful car. I want that car. I want to get that car. You think you, those are things that you think about every day in your everyday life. Okay? But you think of those things in Spanish. How about if we change the chip and think of those things in English? How about, so instead of thinking to yourself and saying, oh, oh my goodness, hey, hey um, que bonito ese carro, hey, ese carro me voy a comprar cuando, cuando tenga el dinero. Instead of saying that, you say, oh, wow, that's a beautiful car. I'm going to get that car when I have enough money. And you know what? Don't just think it, say it, okay? Say it to yourself. Y si no quiere parecer un poco como que la gente de repente se le queda viendo porque usted se está hablando soda, póngase los audífonos y van a creer que está hablando por celular. With other people. Exactly. Exactly. Ajá, para que vaya, si, si le da pena porque la gente va a decir, ay, ¿qué está haciendo esta? No, entonces ponga hacer los audífonos y, 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 y haga de caso como que está hablando por teléfono y usted, y usted sigue acá hablando. Uh, teacher, do you have a list? Give me one list uh, de music, but Necesito como una recomendación de música 
en inglés, pero que no hable muy rápido para yo poder agudizar un poco más. Um, one of the, 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 one of the songs, or better said, one of the groups that is very good to listen to, even though they are oldies, we call them oldies because they are from a long time ago, is the Beatles. Okay. I recommend the Beatles for two reasons. Why? Because one, they, most of their songs are slow. They're not very, very fast, you know. So this is slow, slow. Mm -hmm. is lento. Yes, exactly, slow. And slow. the second reason is because they like to repeat a lot of things. They repeat and repeat and repeat. Yeah, so you can easily uh, start in repeat. Repetition is great for the ear. The more you repeat, the more you will you will get someone's attention. So that's that's actually very positive. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for your su support. You're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. And thank th you. Thank you for your effort, because. Um, it's the fact that you are so interested and motivated that is going to get you somewhere, right? So I'm like, I'm only here as a facilitator. That's the word it tells you, facilitator. So I facilitate, I make it easier for you, but I can facilitate things if you don't put your part. So thank you for being that motivated and i can always see that you're the one participating you know you're always giving your opinion that's excellent okay 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 anything I, anything else i can help you with no no okay it's okay, okay. thank you <laughs> you're welcome okay and well then, in that case take care um and have a good a good night have a good night, you two teachers. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.